Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremy Green. I'm a dermatologist in Miami, Florida, and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about laser hair removal. The way laser hair removal works is there's invisible laser light that targets the pigment in each hair shaft that's in your skin. So as you can imagine, uh, laser hair removal works best for pigmented dark hairs. It's uh, a bit challenging and difficult with blonde, red, or gray hairs like I have a lot of these days. Uh, so really dark brown and black hairs respond best. When the laser light hits the hair shaft, the light is converted to heat. The heat spreads to the kind of stem cells where the hair is made and knocks those out. Each laser hair removal treatment takes care of about 15 to 20 percent of the hairs, actually it reduces the density by about that much. So if you do the math for patients to be satisfied and to get near 100 percent reduction, you're looking at somewhere between four to six treatments. We usually space these treatments out about four to six weeks apart. A couple things to consider before you get treatments. Uh, one is you don't want to be tan. Uh, as you can imagine, a lot of the lasers we use for hair removal target pigment or all of them do rather, they'll target pigment in the hair shaft. But the laser doesn't know the difference between pigment in the hair shaft itself and pigment in the skin. So if you have pretty dark skin or tan skin, there's a risk of that pigmentation in the skin absorbing the laser light and it could create burns or blisters. Um, so if you have an active tan, it's not a good idea to get laser hair removal. Um, darker skin people, there are lasers that are safe. One in particular is called the 1064 nanometer ND YAG laser. Other considerations, don't pluck or wax right before your treatment because then you're pulling the roots of the hair out and there will be no target there for your uh, laser practitioner to treat. So if you want to do anything, shave. And we usually shave immediately prior uh, to or shave yourself the day before your laser hair removal session. So my favorite hair removal laser is the Palomar Sinusure Bectus. It's a diode laser so it emits invisible light. One of the, the most unique and one of the most exciting components to this laser is this device, it's called the SkinTel. And what it is, is it's a melanin reader, so it reads the amount of pigment in the skin. And what that does, based on the amount of pigment in the skin, the device itself suggests safe settings, safe parameters for the laser hair removal treatment. So why is this important? If you Google pictures of laser hair removal burn, you can see all sorts of scary things where people were treated with settings that were too high, inappropriate settings, especially patients with darker skin tone. So I'm taking readings with the SkinTel melanin reader, I'm transmitting the melanin index to the base station, and based on his melanin index of 17, and for perspective I'm 14, uh, the device is going to suggest parameters for us to use. So in this case, I'm going to use a fluence of 13 joules per centimeter squared and a 48 millisecond pulse duration. typical endpoint of laser hair removal, it's called perifollicular edema and erythema. Um, basically, we heated up the hair shaft in the skin, and then because of that, there's some swelling around the hair. After, it, you know, it's a little bit uncomfortable, it can be a bit pinchy while we do it, so sometimes we'll use topical numbing cream, which makes uh, patients more comfortable. Other times, if it's a small area, we'll just go ahead and do it. Um, after the procedure, you'll feel a little bit like you had a sunburn, it may be a little bit sore. Uh, but that soreness usually resolves either that night or perhaps the next day.